Welcome or welcome back, I'm Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to talk about solving logarithmic equation using exponential form. What do I mean by that? Look at here, these are what we call logarithmic equation. And we can go back from this logarithmic form to the exponential form, like this, right? So log in base 2 of x equals 3 becomes 2 to the third power equals x. And that is a simple problem, we just need to evaluate x equals 8. However, I want to show you a different idea of solving this uh, logarithmic equation, which is by exponentiate. Exponentiate, that's the word we use both sides. And uh, these two guys are inverse function, right? 2 to the x and log in base 2 of x inverse function. So this cancel out, so we have only x equals 2 to the third. So yeah, this is another way to see the same problem. You pick your way. Sometimes you may want to go back to the exponential form like I did uh, here or use the uh, ex uh, exponentiate both sides. Right. I'm going to use the second method in this video clip. You can try to use the first one. So um, let's go ahead and try number 16. If you end up with x equals 81, then you did a wonderful job. So now let's take a look to problem number 17. I have the same idea. We're going to exponentiate. So we have log in base 5 of 2x plus 1 equals 4. Since the base of the log is 5, I'm going to exponentiate using a base of 5. So we have 5 to the power of log in base 5 of 2x plus 1 equals 5 to the 4 power. And again, the, the, uh, the exponential and the logarithmic cancel out. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 5 to the 4 power. Yeah, 2x plus 1 equals 625. We're going to subtract 1 and have... 6, 24, and divide by 2, and we have 312. That is the solution for number 17. Uh, on this logarithmic equation, you always want to check your solution and see if they are not extraneous solution, or uh, fake solution. So try number 18. If you end up with x equals 6, then you, you, you don't want to find that. And as I said, you may want to check the solution, see if you, when you plug in that solution you have, uh, the log cannot, the quantity inside of the log cannot be 0 or less than 0. Right, let's take a look to problem 19. Then you're going to do 20. So, uh, in this one, what do you notice? You have a 2 times log, okay? 2 times log in base 4 of x minus 1 equals 3. So the first thing you want to do is to solve for the log. Yeah, have, isolate the log. Have the log by itself. So we have here log in base 4 of x minus 1 equals, equals 3 halves. And again, we're going to exponentiate using the base 4. Then we're going to have here x minus 1 equals 4 to the 3 halves. Yeah, 4 to the 3 halves, 4 to the 3 halves is 1. It's square root of 4 raised to the third power. And that will be 2 to the third power, which is 8. Yeah, so we have x minus 1 equals 8. So obviously x will be 9. Pause this video, video here and try number 20.
if you end up with x equals 8 for number 20, then you did a wonderful job. Again, this guy is cubic root of 125 <laughs> squared. So, cubic root of 125 is 5, 5 squared is 25. That's the reason we have this 25 here. Um, now, let's take a look at this problem. And the same idea, remember in the other problem I said you want to isolate. You want to isolate, you want to solve for log bar. So the same thing here, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add 1, right? So I'm going to have 5 log, log that is log in base 10, right? Log of x minus 1 equals 10. So I'm going to divide by 5, and then we have log of x minus 1 equals 2. Like I said, this is base 10, so we're going to exponentiate using a base 10, and we're going to have x minus 1 equals 10 squared, or x minus 1 equals 100, okay, which gives us the solution, x equals 101. Again, don't forget to just plug the value in and see if, if that log is a positive quantity cannot be a negative quantity it cannot be a zero it has to be greater than zero uh, pause this video clip and try number 22 If you end up with the solution x equals 10,001, you did a wonderful job. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.